Hey man, happy Thursday. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bay. Ah. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to Courage to save his new home. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. <laughs> Currently 32 degrees here in the UK, which is around 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which goes some way to explaining my dishevelled appearance because it is too damp and it is too humid to really do anything. I was going to do the garden, but it's actually physically too warm to do it properly without burning to a cinder because being partly ginger, the sun and I do not get on. So this week I've been thinking about experiences and that's more like shared experiences with the people because a few times in conversation, this has come up in recent weeks. Let me give you a bit of context. So Nick and I went to VidCon a few years ago in LA and we had a heck of a time. We did industry, we went to a party afterwards which was full of famous YouTubers and we weren't famous YouTubers. So it was a bit of a how did we get there kind of scenario but it's a memory that we will never forget. But he said he would have liked to take his fiance to do that same thing. But when he was over here in the UK, a few weeks ago, he said, actually, no, I wouldn't want to do that because that's our experience. Rachel wouldn't get the same out of it. And that is a great point. Just because an experience went one way for you and someone doesn't mean that experience next time will go the same way for you and someone else. Even if you're in the same place, doing the same thing, consuming the same content or the same things going on around you. Just like I was speaking to Josh Parry over Snapchat, I mean, he has his birthday two weeks after mine and he was going away with his girlfriend for the weekend to celebrate his birthday, which is cool. And I said to him in joking, yeah, but it won't be as good as the weekend we had for my birthday. And he said, no, probably not, because I think he was joking too. But the point is, those two things aren't comparable. They're both weekends away for birthdays, but that's where it ends. Everything else is different. So you can't compare them. So what's the point? And I think that's something that I've been guilty of in the past is not really taking each situation on its own merits and enjoying it for what it is and appreciating what happens rather than comparing it to something else. You may do the same experience five times and that experience may be different five different times because even having one different person there each time can change the dynamic of everything. As we always see on this channel, constants and variables, similarities through differences. In the end, every situation, every experience is different and you should enjoy it for what it is on its own merit instead of comparing it to everything else and everyone else's experience. Because your thing is unique, you are unique, the people around you are unique. Enjoy that, embrace that, do not get caught up on comparing it to other people's stuff. So those are my thoughts this week, Matt. Have a nice day, keep mattering, and of course, I will see you on Monday.